and calculating the volume of solid of revolution using washer method, you're basically having two functions involved or two curves involved in forming the object. So in this case, please pay attention. One curve is this curve here, and the other curve is this curve here. So you're taking this object and rotating this about x-axis. And this is the 3D object that is created. Again, remember that we are interested in finding the cross-section. The cross-section in this case is something like a washer. So this guy that is moving along is not a full disk. You have a larger radius and a smaller radius. So the area can be calculated by subtracting the smaller area from the larger area. The larger area is located here. So this is, as you know, is a disk or circular object. The area is pi r squared. Then we calculate the smaller area down here and we do the subtraction to find the area of this washer. For example, the region R is bounded by the graphs of f of x, square root of x, and g of x, x squared. And x is bounded between 0 and 1. What is the volume of the solid that results when R is revolved about x-axis? So as you can see here, now you have two functions to work with. It's not just one function. You don't have one radius. You have two radii. Visually, here you have y equals to square root of x. And then you have y equals to x squared. This is the object that you're trying to rotate about x-axis. You're interested in finding the distance between these two curves. The larger y value is located on square root of x, and the smaller y value is located on x squared. So the distance between these two, delta y, is equal to square root of x minus x squared. So since the area of the cross section is pi of the larger r to the second power minus the smaller r to the second power, this is equal to pi of square root of x to the second minus x squared to the second. You have the outer radius and you have the inner radius. Guys, please pay attention. You cannot take the delta y and raise it to the second power. It gives you a wrong answer. You have to calculate each one of these areas separately and do the subtraction. This is the object that is resulted from rotating R about x-axis. So this is your R. And you start rotating this. And this is the cross-section. As you can see, it is just a washer. This in turn is pi times x minus x to the fourth. And please note that it's not the same as delta y squared. So 
Now that we have our object, we can find the volume using washer method. V is the definite integral 0 to 1 of pi times x minus x to the 4 dx. The rest is just using the techniques of integration. You get pi times x squared divided by 2 minus x to the 5th divided by 5 and x ranges between 0 and 1, which in terms is equal to 3 pi over 10. So here you have your pi, just plug in 1, you get a half minus a fifth and zero doesn't change anything zero cause this term to vanish and if you take common denominator you get three divided by ten you have a pi in front of it just do the multiplication and you get three pi over ten so this is the basic of washer method washer method again uses the cross section but you have the larger area minus the smaller area. Pi r squared minus pi r of x squared. Then you rotate this about x-axis or y-axis or any other line and calculate the volume using the method of integration that you saw before.